Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study the next part that is a problem number 4 on discrete time signals. Now in this case one graph is already given which is x of n and we have to perform some different operations on x of n. Now what are those? Let's see the problem number 4. Well, in problem number 4, I have already plotted the graph as well as its sequence also. This may be in your exam, they will give you the sequence or maybe they will give you the graph. If in both the cases, you are able to plot the graph using the sample or you can able to write the sample form using a graph. Now, how? Now, if the graph is given in exam, then just look at here. At the origin, you have amplitude 1. Now, at origin, if you have amplitude 1, then write down 1 and perfectly below that, just mark one arrow, which represents that sample amplitude is present at origin. Now, in second part, the next samples are 2, 1, 2, which is right written already in a sequence and it is um, properly respective instances. What we are going to do, we have to find out the plot for these four questions the first part is x of n we have to multiply this x of n with the u of n and it is subtracted from the same u of n which is delayed by 2 look at here the u of n this u of n is delayed by 2 and we have to subtract this delayed function from original u of n whatever outcome will come we have to multiply it with the original given sequence a question that is x of n now the second part is the x of n plus 2 which means we have to advance this function by 2 third part in this part we have to perform two different operations the first operation is just simply a time shifting operation and the second one is its mirror image that is a folding operation in fourth case here also we are going to perform two different operations. the first operation is time scaling and the second operation is amplitude scaling now how to perform all these operations on x of n well let's see one by one now in first of part of question here we have plotted u of n first as we know that if nothing is mentioned in front of u of n which means the amplitude of u of n is 1 similarly and second part also u of n minus 2 is mentioned here also nothing is mentioned in front of u of n means what the amplitude of this u delayed unit step is also 1 if 2 is mentioned over here then amplitude becomes twice similarly if 2 or any number is mentioned then we have to multiply the unit step amplitude 1 by given value right now nothing is mentioned in front of u of n also as well as u of n plus minus 2 also so the amplitude of both these unit step always 1 so i have already plotted the unit step response and this unit step response will vary and it is continuous till infinity and having and carries the same amplitude which is 1 1 1 now if it is delayed by 2 right now in question the u of n minus 2 is mentioned which means graph is delayed unit step is delayed by 2 delayed means what we have to shift this graph towards the right hand side by 2 now if you want to shift this graph by right hand side then just find out just see here the delayed value is 2 so simply add 2 in each and every instance of time of unit state so we'll add 2 in each and every instant of time that is 0 plus 2 is new time instant is 2 similarly we if we add 2 in all rest of the samples the new outcome is 3 4 5 6 already given amplitude will not get affected as i told you earlier in the time shifting property amplitude remains same only time will change next case what we are going to do we are going to find out the subtraction between unit step and unit step delayed unit step so we'll start the subtraction part now at the origin unit step u of n having amplitude one but in delayed function the unit step in this part the amplitude is have is zero so simply a uh, one minus zero at origin that is over here if 
here u of n is having amplitude 1 then delayed function is having amplitude 0 so resultant is 1 so as i plotted over here in the subtraction part that is the resultant part at origin we have amplitude 1 let's move on to next next the sampled one at 1 u of n is having amplitude 1 so i will write down over here and then u of n minus 2 is having amplitude 0 because nothing is mentioned means amplitude is 0 so i will write here 0 again you will get the subtraction answer is 1 so at 1 what we are going to do we are going to write or we are going to plot one impulse and having amplitude 1 so uh, over here at 1 amplitude is 1 let's move on to next at 2 amplitude is 1 so i'm going to write at instant 2 u of n is having amplitude 1 now what about delayed function it is also having amplitude 1 so i'm going to write here 1 and 1 minus 1 is we know that it is 0 because it cancels each other so at 2 we have amplitude 0 now next part that is from 2 both these samples that is u of n and u of n minus 2 having amplitude 1 and if the amplitude of both the function is same which means the graph will cancel each other the functions will cancel each other so means what from 2 onwards amplitude of this resultant part is always 0 because look at here at 3 the instant amplitude is 1 here also at 3 the instant having amplitude 1 similarly at 4 this instant having amplitude 1 here also at 4 here is instance having amplitude 1 which means if you perform this next calculation also you will get only 0 throughout the time period till infinity so that's why i have already plotted 0 amplitude for through 3 and 4 now what we are going to do we are going to multiply this resultant part this unit step a delayed unit step function and unit step function the subtraction between these two we are going to multiply with x of n now how this graph is multiplied with x of n let's see so here i have plotted x of n which is over here and the resultant of u of n minus u of n minus 2 it is plotted over here now what we are going to do we are going to simply perform the multiplications multiplication always perform with the amplitudes with the respective instance that means what at a zero we have amplitude one here also at a zero we have amplitude one so we are going to choose the same instances but we are going to perform multiplication of that given instances so at a zero we have one here also at a zero we have one so simply multiply one into one resultant is one so at origin you will get one let's move on to next so here at one the amplitude is two at one here amplitude is one so simply multiply two with one resultant is two so next at instant one what you will get amplitude two but look at here in in unit step part after one this function is having amplitude zero if you multiply the next instant with x of n what you will get here amplitude is 0 so 0 into anything resultant is also as 0 means what from 2 onwards what you will get it is the amplitude of all the functions is 0 so this is the result of x of n multiplied with the subtraction between unit step and delayed unit step function now we will pass off the second part of this question that is the time shifting property let's see now in second part here the x of function n x of n is plus 2 is mentioned means what we have to advance this graph or we have to shift this graph towards the left hand side by 2 as the 2 is mentioned now how to perform shift shifting simply just do one thing if we want to shift this graph towards the left hand side means what just subtract two from each and every instance of given function that is we are going to subtract two from each and every instant of x of n so simply subtract 0 1 2 3 we are going to subtract we are going to subtract two from each and every instant of x of n what you will get answer is minus two here answer is minus one here answer is zero and here answer is one what do you mean by this minus 2 minus 1 0 and 1 this is nothing but the new location of 0 
1, 2 and 3. So new location of 0 is minus 2, 1 is minus 1, 2 is 0 and 3 is 1. Which means the samples present on 0, 1, 2, 3 now shifted on minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 1 respectively. How? So look at here. At 0 we have amplitude 1. Now the new location is minus 2. So at minus 2 we have amplitude 1. Similarly, at 1 we have amplitude 2 as the new location of 1 is minus 1. So this sample is now shifted at minus 1 and having amplitude 2. Similarly, let's move on to next that is a second sample is 2. At 2 we have amplitude 1. The new location of this sample is 0. So at 1 at 0 we have amplitude 1 and the last one which is 3. The new location of this 3 sampled is 1. So this 3 will be shifted on 1. This 3 having amplitude 2, so now the new sample which is at 1 having amplitude 2. This is how we are going to perform the shifting operation. Now we will solve the third part of this question. How? Let's see. In third part, what is mentioned? x of minus n minus 1. We are going to just simply will arrange this function because we have to find out whether graph is shifted towards the right hand side or left hand side that is graph is delayed or graph is at one that we are going to find out now as i told you in this part the function is rearranged that is minus n is placed first and one minus one is placed on second now what is important this part in this part what you can see n minus one means what the graph is delayed that is we are going to shift this graph on right hand side by 1. If we are going to shift this graph right hand side by 1 which means we will always add 1 in each and every instant of time. How? So let us just look at here. The, right now our instances are 0, 1 and 2 and 3. As the graph is shifted towards right hand side means what? we have to perform the addition of sequences now which sequence we are going to add which value we are going to add this is the value which are to be added in each and every instant of time of x of n so after adding what you will get the new sequence so origin value is shifted at 1 the 1 shifted at 2 2 shifted and 3 and so on after shifting what you will get as the origin value shifted at 1 so origin we have amplitude 1 as it is shifted on 1 so this one is having amplitude 1 now next one is the sample value 1 this one is shifted on 2 so this one having amplitude 2 now it is available on 2 and having amplitude 2 similarly the next sequence of this 2 is shifted on 3 and this 3 is shifted on 4 likewise the time shifting operation is done but one more part is left that is mirror image or time folding operation what is by mirror image just simply multiplied minus n with each and every instance of available time so we are going to multiply minus n with each and every instances so minus 1 into minus is minus 1 minus 2 the new locations of all the samples will be a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 respectively so this 4 is having a new time sequence and it is a over here on the left hand side minus 4 having amplitude 2 similarly this 3 2 1 is also shifted on left hand side and the new locations are minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and just look at here the amplitude is not affected remember while performing time shifting operation or operations related to time amplitudes will not be affected it always remains same so this one is multiplied with minus sign so new location is minus one as the two is multiplied with the minus sign the new location is two so one is having amplitude one so minus one is one is also having amplitude one the two is shifted on minus two this my two is having amplitude two so minus two is also having amplitude two three shifted on minus three is the here three having amplitude one so minus three is also having amplitude one now at a four the amplitude of this fourth sample is 2, the new location is minus 4 having amplitude 2. So likewise we are going to perform this operation. This is the result of x of minus n minus 1 or you can say that x of minus 1 minus 1. 
Now the last part of this question is fourth. We'll see how we are going to, what will be the result and how we are going to solve that question. Now in fourth part, what we are going to do, we are going to perform two different operations. The first one is time scaling and the next one is amplitude scaling. As I told you, the time, time scaling, if alpha value is greater than 1 then graph always compressed and if alpha value is less than 1 then graph will expand here the alpha value is 2 which is greater than 1 which means graph will get compressed how the compression operation is performed simply just do one thing divide this divide this all the instance by alpha value if we perform division you will get compression so 0 by 2 answer is 0 so origin sample will remain at its own place so origin value is at over here now 1 is divided by 2 answer is half so new location of this one is half amplitude of 1 is actually 2 now it is shifted at half having amplitude 2 amplitude remains same unchanged in third here we have to simply perform division 2 by 2 is 1 so new location of this second sample is 1 amplitude at 2 is 1 so new location is 1 having amplitude 1 if we divide 3 by 2 answer is 3 by 2 so new location of 3 is 3 by 2 and amplitude remains same it is unchanged as the 3 is having amplitude 2 so 3 by 2 is now having amplitude 1 the next part is amplitude scaling here alpha value is 0.5 if the alpha value is 0 0.5 which means uh, simply multiply this 0 0.5 with each and every available amplitude of result so result this is the new outcome this is the new result so we are going to multiply 0 0.5 with each and every available amplitudes of new result so 1 into 0 0.5 answer is 0 0.5 or you can say half also so at origin previously we have amplitude 1 but after multiplying 0.5 we will get amplitude half similarly just 2 into 0.5 answer is 1 so at half we will get amplitude 1 similarly at instant 1 we have amplitude 1 if after multiplying with 0.5 at 1 we will get half at 3 by 2 we have amplitude 2 after multiplying with 0.5 what you will get at 3 by 2 you will get answer 1 so this is how we are going to perform different types of operations on different types of impulse responses now the next question will be a problem number five we'll see what type of question will be there and which type of questions will be asked on it we'll see so stay tuned with ikida subscribe ikida thank you for watching this video thank you so much